Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again with the endgame video for Crackling Lance Elementalist, which ended up pulling out some seriously big DPS. Harvest, of course, was a bit of an assistance in that, but honestly not the biggest um, deal. It's basically just fine-tuning of a character using some awakened gems, uh, grabbing the right passives, sacrificing a bit of defense where necessary, um, as always, and then um, ultimately Crackling Lance is in a pretty good spot, I'd say. Um, just because it got buffed and Elementalist somewhat buffed and plenty of things like Harvest can get you across the line. It still does have some issues in that it's a very standstill to do lots of damage type of ordeal. So if you're not standing still for a good few seconds, you're not getting maximum value to the point where you're doing all of your millions of DPS. So it kind of forces you to go very deep on your DPS and hopefully as light as possible on your defense, which in this case was fairly light, but not too bad. Golems do give you quite a lot of thickness. I got a thousand life regen, uh, 55 plus hundred life or so. There's, you know, potential for a bit more and uh, swapping gloves in for boss fight to get up to 57, 5,800. Um, stone golem, that's the regen. Uh, Chaos Golem gives us some good damage reduction. Do have Fortify. Do have some good um, Leech as well. But overall, you know, still fairly squishy for what it is. Um, which doesn't really matter because for the most part, you kill things very, very quickly. Impulsor and Storm's Gift combo was an absolute dream for mapping. Uh, mapping was definitely the specialty. Though most bosses were actually really good you know, comfortable and easy for this build as well. It just matters as to whether or not you're completely destroying a boss or if you have to run around and do some mechanics, as you'll see throughout the video. Most bosses do get completely destroyed and most maps and mapping situations with the Impulsor uh, are an absolute beauty. So, um... We got to level 94 pretty comfortably, could push 95, started doing endgame, died to just a few of the endgame encounters, and I'm talking like the uber uber, um, because DPS was not quite high enough to properly destroy everything before you got destroyed, so I think I ended up clearing it, but uh, it was pretty sketchy, several deaths there. Uh, wave 19 and 20 of Simulacrum as well get pretty damn sketchy um, if you can't instantly blow everything up, and we mostly could, but had a pretty bad layout, pretty bad mods, and ended up dying quite a few times to that. Other than that, um, everything went really well. I didn't end up doing a 5-way Legion, though I think it probably would be even better than the Wild Strike Berserker just earlier, which was my best character for a 5-way Legion, but I think this would be better. Like, just about every mo uh, map I was doing was double beyond, as you can see just in the background here, and uh, double, triple beyond, and we would be one-shotting every single one of those bosses, like, instantly. It was kind of a joke as to how quick beyond would die, uh, because Trash in particular gets hit for millions of damage, and then with up to 60% shock on the enemies, um, it is very relevant during trash and during um, map clear. As opposed to bosses, you won't always be shocking them for 60%, uh, but on some cases, you actually still will be. So the overshock node with how hard we were hitting, pretty relevant um, and definitely helpful in many situations. As you can see, huge chunks happening. Impulsor still carries some of the additional clear. Um, and then it kind of matters if you have everything lined up. In my path of building, I definitely uh, didn't want to tick everything at once, so I don't have four stacks of Sigil of Power. I only um, put up two. I didn't enable RF or Vile RF, though a lot of the time, when you get everything up, and it's entirely possible to do, we're sitting at something like 20 million um, DPS. So I didn't make that a guarantee. Uh, it's like 20 to 25 million. Um, didn't make that a guarantee because it's not always going to happen. But um, most of the time we're sitting at something like 10 to 13 million, which is pretty damn nice for Crackling Lance. A skill that everyone told me sucked and wasn't worth trying to build into at the moment, uh, even though I was 
fairly confident the buffs should make it nice enough. Though, as I mentioned, I think a lot of that is also being able to min-max at this point of the league and also with some harvest. But uh, what I mean by at this point of the league is you can get just about everything. You can make a lot of money off of a lot of different situations and you can get everything pretty comfortably, like level 5 awakened gems, um, whatever crafts you need, whatever bases you need, all kinds of shit. It's just fairly comfortable to buy and uh, achieve similar outcomes. Though I'm still not fully sold on, um, you know, how truly plausible this skill is in some of the new end game because there is a lot of moving around for Maven, for example, for the Uber Uber fight, um, Uber Elder with Maven. That was a joke, but you know, still, there's a lot of moving around. So you have to end up hitting this threshold where you absolutely destroy everything. And if you don't hit that threshold, that's when the skill like this one is going to feel pretty bad. Because getting up to your stacks of uh, Intensify and then standing still long enough to kill something can be a bit of an issue um, if you're not quite at that level of real tankiness or real overkill. And we went for mostly real overkill with a little bit of tankiness and for the most part it was fine but it was still a little bit uncomfortable and I do expect a lot of people are going to try this, be a bit undergeared, be a bit under fine-tuned and uh, have a bad time. Now you can see that uh, I did run out of mana flask on this one as well. I was overusing my mana flask and my entire mana sustain was coming from mana flask. So that's also a mild issue from time to time um, on certain fights on certain occasions. But for the most part, mana flask was fine to uh, sustain everything. So that's all I'll say about that. Uh, I'll leave you guys with the Maven fight. You can see a couple of little upgrades I made in the uh, character in the build. I did have a glove swap for pure single target, but this is Maven fight. Did okay at it. DPS is good. I was not very good at it. Whoops. Uh, thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Uh, it's possible I'm supposed to speak into Flask system. The, the mana one. That node there. Does she have like a damage reduction when she blinks there? Wait, where the fuck did those come from? I will have what I want. This will not be an escape. Actually, it may have been the 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 thirty percent more Ellie went away. Uh, I didn't get flask judged back because I didn't like kill any of the dudes, did I? But that's bad. The prettiest piece makes the whole complete. What? <laughs> I didn't see that attack happening. Did you guys see it? Did you guys see the wind up? Because I didn't, and I was focusing on the balls. You did see it? Alright, in that case, I just didn't pay attention to it. Which is fair. Death made real. Resistance will be punished. Yeah, having to. I don't know. Intensify with uh, um, having to move so much on this fight is pretty bad. Don't get me wrong, my DPS is like Giga Ultimate, so it doesn't matter. But um, it's just not a good playstyle at all. And I just wasted everything on her there. Um, so I'm gonna run out of mana flask. Means it will be over soon. That's bad too. Flasks back there, which is good. Punishment in the 
inescapable. We kill some of the other bosses. Arrogant Actively toy. killing the other bosses instead of the main boss just to get flasks. I don't know what happened, if I'm honest. I think that was it. I don't know. So if you're not shit at the game, it's pretty good. Also, millions of dollars. So Lex is yours again. Ooh, that could be something. Children are capricious, no man. Still, okay. You asked for this. <laughs> <laughs>